I'm going to call this strange and unusual, but true. First of all, Bill Cardell was on a show, a gentleman named Bill Cardell, was on a show in Pittsburgh, PA, from about 1962 to 1982. It was a horror, old-time horror movie, horror show host, Really cool. And I like you, Chili Billy. You're my, man, you're, Chili Billy, I don't know if you'll ever hear this, but you're the reason I got into acting and the direct reason I got into the talk show business, the reason why I became a journalist, all that. You see, back in 1982, I was on a show as a Halloween guest. And I was on a show called Chiller Theater. You can look it up on Google. A uh, YouTube, I mean Yahoo, and also probably YouTube. As a matter of fact, I, you can because I've listened to some of the old time stuff. And Bill Cardell is and always will be one of my idols. And I used to love that show. And I still do. Yeah, a lot of people do in Pittsburgh. So if you're from Pittsburgh, give me a thumbs up and a like if you ever liked Chiller Theater. Well, I was honored personally invited by Bill to be on Chiller Theater back in about 19, well, probably about six months before the show went off the air. I was on the Halloween show and they taped like two or three shows at a time. And the skits part of it, at least. And man, that was an honor. But the point is, everything I've done since then in terms of the acting and the TV. It's because of you, Bill. When I just recently had my press credentials once again to, to cover the event of former President Clinton, I got my press, I received my press credentials and covered that event. And I was able to get a net in. Bill Cardill was the reason. So when I say this is called strange, but I mean odd and true or but true, Strange, odd, but true. I can assure you, it is. I can also tell you right now, there's a good reason why people are not doing what I've been asking them to do. A lot of people can't afford to. I don't mean money-wise. You see, I'm a great believer that there is an evil and a a good force out there. You can call it a God, whatever you want to call it, negative and positive. This is the problem. Great things are going to happen for you. Great things have happened for me. Meeting Bill, meeting another legend, living legend, an idol of mine, Mr. Bruno San Martino, the famous wrestler, the living legend. Yes. Yes, I got to meet him. That was an honor. But there's a reason why you haven't done what I asked. And it makes sense. And I'll tell you why. When we put together this revolutionary program and the wealth starts coming in, you have to do the work. It's going to be easy at some times because you're already doing some of what you need to do. And some of it is going to be harder than you've ever done in your life. All of it can lead you to security financially if you do what's asked of you. But I'm not surprised that anybody, a lot of people are not watching. I'm long-winded. I'm off the wall. I'm insulting a lot of times. But you know what I really am? I'm in it to see you no longer have to work these servant and slave jobs. The idea of a minimum wage should never have ever existed. You know, before I go, let me comment on that. I mean, let me clarify something. It used to be back in the beginning years and even the colonial, before the United, the United States, our founders men and women used to have the mentality that they were going to own a business 
or invent something, whatever it was. So we were a independent-minded country, independent nation. We believed in doing our own thing, creating our own wealth, helping and rendering useful service to others, and selling products or whatever you want to call it, services, building bridges, not bridges, but whatever. And I don't know when it happened, and I heard this from one of my business partners, but he, and I think somebody else, but then our mentality slowly was corrupted and changed. It used to be the majority of, Ameri of Americans would work to own their own businesses. Well, there's an getting more stuff out. Sorry about that. But now the majority wants to work a, do a job. But there is no such thing as job security. And the great illusion is that there ever was or that there ever were. There wasn't. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what. In order to start changing your perception of yourself and of me and actually having the courage to, to do the, some of the things that I'm asking you to do, and it takes courage, and it's scary. But to get you the right perceptions, we're going to do a couple more videos. I don't want to do it all in one video. I would love to talk to you like a Tony Robbins for an hour, or maybe like a Les Brown, two, three hours. But this is the problem. You have the perception in, of me not having made it. You see the illusion of me still not being there. But if I say this to you, you're going to think the guy's on acid. You don't get it. And you shouldn't get it. Because this is why. If you start to believe and you do what I ask and you act in a certain way, you won't need the big box store. You won't need to depend on the government when you're an older person. You won't need to be 85 years old working as a, a greeter in the big box store or in a freaking fast food restaurant. You won't need a lot of these things. And the corporations, not all of them, but the corporations, industries, what have you, they want to enslave and in a larger sense have already enslaved this entire planet. So when a guy comes around like myself or some of my business partners, some of them are having success. And yet people like me seem to have none. But that's the great illusion. You don't think so? What if I told you that I've already had an astounding success success it just hasn't materialized yet. And I know what that sounds like. So let me preface it and try to make you become a futurist and think differently and understand and quant I will quantify and qualify that statement. If we were to go back in time to 2004, in 2004, I took on a huge challenge to become a talk show host. I don't know if any of you understand what really goes into it, but it's even harder when you're on public access for a variety of reasons. But one reason is we are the production. 98% of what you see is us. We do every single job for the most part. Everything, every aspect behind the scenes, in front of the camera, you name it, for the most part. So imagine Steve Harvey doing every single job. Imagine Steve Harvey or maybe Oprah or maybe, I don't know, um, Ellen DeGeneres or Dr. Oz, or anybody, any show you can think of, having to do every gig. We do the majority of them. So I took on that challenge all by myself in 2004. 
Am I proficient in everything? No. But am I good at what I do? You better believe it. And I'll tell you right now before I go, there's a good reason for you to start paying attention. Because if I can do that, well, when I say I am wealthy, I didn't say I will be. But when I say I am, you better believe. Even though it's not physically here at this particular moment in time, if I say it, I am it. More importantly, what's in it for you? Those who will finally see the light, and I hate to say it like that, but understand and comprehend what I'm saying in a kind of cryptic way. Those of you who do this and do the work, let me put it to you this way. You're going to have an abundance if you will put the time in and do the work. You're going to have an abundance that you cannot even imagine. No matter what your dream may be, it will surpass it. And I'm not saying it could. I'm telling you, if you will do the things we ask you, it will.